Unless you've been living underneath a rock for the past two weeks, you'd know that 343 Industries released a new map called Forge Island. It is a map that has completely flat, planar areas to forge upon. They've also released a new pivotal item for Machinima within this map. It is a wall that is completely chroma key green, which allows you to use it in almost any form of Machinima, montage, or whatever form of use you want. Why this is important is because it allows us to take action scenes or driving or whatever you want out of Halo and actually apply it to anything. You can take it out of and make a completely blank background. You can use it to key out body parts that are broken off. You can use it to make an intro, which is the example that we're going to be doing today, just to learn the basics of keying out the green. I plan on making a tutorial series that uses very basic effects or advanced effects as we go on, but I'm going to go over example videos and show tutorials on how to edit out the green, how to use it in actual visual effects for usage in machinima, montages, or whatever you want. We're going to start off with something simple to start understanding how to key out the green from our video. So for this example, we're going to make a very simple YouTube intro, such as this example. First, we want to act out our scene, so it helps to have a plan. For this example, we're going to do a Spartan walking on top of some text. So just start a custom game on Forge Island and use the green screen wall. I already have a map laid out that is available on my file share, and it's called Green Screen Stage. So now we're just going to start a custom game and wait for the game to load. Alright, so now that all that's left is just to act out your scene. So here's the green screen stage, which is very hard to see exactly where you gotta go. So I wanna aim straight this way. And I'm just gonna act out my scene. You can do whatever you want here. Jump. And continue on my way. Towards the end. Alright, now that we have our scene acted out, now it's time to go ahead and capture our footage. Game over. Victory. Now, in order to capture the footage, you need to use a capture card device or any form of capturing device. I personally use a Hophog HD PVR Generation 1. But you can use whatever you have. I prefer this because it's an HD capture card and it allows me to get more pixels, which is easier to key out stuff and it just looks better. So now I'm just going to start the film. Alright, toggle the menu off. Now you just want to frame your shot. So there, can I keep going here? Let's see. I didn't like that take three to the second one. Where's the jump? I want that jump in the middle. All right. And that's it. Now that we have our video captured, we can go use an editing software to get rid of the green from the green screen. For this, I will be using After Effects CS6 for this entire series. This is just a warning to everybody who does not have access to CS6. After Effects, just even After Effects overall. This is the only program that I know that I'm strong enough in to teach. So, if you don't have After Effects, I'm sorry, but I'm going to teach you the basics of how to key out green screen, and you should be able to apply it to whatever program that you are willing to use. So let's get started. First, we need to import our, our video file, which I have right here, Spartan Jump. It's a good idea to go ahead and name your files something that you can recognize for ease. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Alright, so now I have my file right here, Spartan Jump M2TS. 
So I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this right down to this little button here, which is the new composition button. We'll make a new composition with the exact size of our file. Now what we want to do is see right here, just drag that out to get rid of any black bars. Okay, so let's see what we got. So now in order to do this, we're going to come over here to effects and presets and we're going to type in key and you'll see key light 1.2. This is an effect. We're going to take key light and drag it right over the top, drop it. And now we have our effect right here, which is key light. So now what we want to do is we want to take this little eyedropper, grab it, pick our green color. And as you can see, we have a little bit of artifacting around our character, around our Spartan here. So what we want to do is take this screen gain and bump it up just a little bit, and we'll get rid of some of our artifacts change our color just about right. Now what we really want to do is go to screen matte under this drop box. You'll see this is white and you can see the black. What we want to do is come down here to the screen matte drop down, clip the black, so get rid of our artifacting, smooth out our edges, and then you see we got this black is fully black. This is the goal. Get the black as black as you can. Now you want to get your white perfectly white. So you're going to drag this this way. And click on final result. What do we have? Let's go ahead and Playback with a RAM playback. Alright, looks good. So now, what we can do with this right here is we can grab it. And as you can see, we can move it wherever we want. So I'm going to move it right back where it was. I'm going to transform you upwards. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some text, right click, new, text, let's type in, just do, caboozle, productions, actually here's what I'll do, I'll create two texts, get okay, caboozle, new text, productions, and then we want to grab our move tool. I'm going to move this all the way over to the right. Scale it up. A little bit high. So it's basically just tweaking now. Alright, if it looks good to you, and for purposes of the tutorial, I mean, I think that looks fine. Round jump. All right. Now I'm going to pause it. And in order to render, in case you guys are very new to After Effects, in order to render, you have to go to the render queue. You want to grab your composition, drag it into your render queue, and you have to go through all your settings. I like best, of course. I'll put this is where you can select where you want to save it to. What kind of format? I'll just do an AVI. You can also output audio. Um, and then this is where you can save it to. So I've got it probably. Spartan Jump. Okay, so we'll save that. 
and hit render. So here's our finished product as well as some other examples. If you like this tutorial please hit like and subscribe and I will be making more of these all throughout the year. So stick around and stay tuned.